guys, so today we are gonna do makeup sharing. Okay, first of all, let me just open this whole vlog with, in case you missed it, so if you're like been watching last Saturday's vlog and you're waiting for this Saturday's vlog, I on an off whim, random, really super not like me thing decided to do Vlogmas. So there have been six vlogs since the last Saturday vlog. So um, I will link the playlist down below. I mean, it's just the usual vlog playlist. I did not like create a new playlist for it. We're just adding the word Vlogmas to all the numbers. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we're doing that. So now you know. So tomorrow, probably another vlog, and then a vlog the day after that. We're gonna just keep going until I get burned out, which um, I think my plan for Vlogmas will be probably till the 23rd or 24th, because then I will be on vacation for a week, and I'm gonna, I'll be vlogging it um, for you guys to some degree, uh, so I can share that with you, but it's not gonna be, you know, an everyday upload. So I probably will vlog until the 23rd or 24th, and then I will, See you guys in January, something like that. So anyway, uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty, when she officially announced that she was going to launch, I was like, thank you. Yes, I loved a lot of the stuff that came out in her Estee Lauder collaborations. So I was didn't make any orders because so, I mean, her stuff I thought was like, it, it was priced pretty high up there. And I was like, let me wait till Black Friday and see if she does anything. So I signed up for her email, just kind of like waiting to see what she would do. And when you sign up for her email, she does give you a 10% off code. I don't believe she is affiliated with any cashback websites as of right now. Uh, but then for Black Friday, Cyber Monday time period, she did also do free shipping. So I don't know what her shipping was previous to that, if there was even a free shipping threshold or minimum that you could meet. But so I got 10% off and I got free shipping. So let me talk about this. I don't think I've ever been so like impressed by a brand right off the bat. Uh, like I really wanted to be impressed with like Charlotte Tilbury stuff and I, I loved a lot of her products, but some of the things were not like, you know, I wasn't obsessed. So when you get your box, you open it up and it says Victoria Beckham Beauty and she uses this material to cushion her products. This is water soluble. I don't know what this is called. Some kind of O, cellulose, don't quote me. Um, okay, so I was like, this feels like it could be water soluble. So I like broke off a little piece over here and I put it under the sink. It immediately dissolved and I was like, wow. Like I love that. Actually, you know what? Let me get my phone so we can actually look up this material. Okay, I finally found it biodegradable cornstarch, which makes a lot of sense because this it does kind of have like that sticky feeling you get when you like mix cornstarch with water, which I don't know. I think it's amazing. Obviously the other parts of her packaging are also recyclable. So I don't know. I, I really love it. So now on to like the delivery system. So you get this bag, red ribbon, so chic. I love it so much. Her packaging is like just white and black. So white boxes, recyclable. And then the inside, is just black. It's just so, like the right amount of shine. I love it. It's it's so nice. So onto the actual products. I got two items. They're the two items I was most interested in getting. I keep losing my light, guys, which I guess is like good for seeing the makeup, but it doesn't make for like pretty camera. Okay, better, kind of, sort of. All right, so I have the Lid Luster in Mink, and this, I was so excited for this because I loved what she did with Estee Lauder again. So it is kind of a fairly crumbly formula, so I have to be very careful. I don't know if mine was just kind of like <laughs> moved around in transit, but it is very beautiful. When I swatch it, I'm obsessed with it. When I put it on my lids, it ends up looking very kind of silvery, and I'm like, mm, you know. So that's what it looks like, but on my lids, all I really get is kind of that like taupey silver flash. I don't get this like kind of smudgy, smudgy like brown on the edges. Like, unless it's on there and I just don't see it. I feel like oftentimes when I do eye makeup, a lot of things end up looking kind of not as distinct, like more muted. Like if I use like a warm brown in the crease, my whole shadow look it just ends up looking like a warm brown. Even though I feel like I use a lot of colors, I use a lot of oranges, purples, burgundies, etc. 
but like you know like if you just look at my eyes like this like you don't even know that there's any shimmer whatsoever until like you know so like i can't go on rocking around like this like you know so it's kind of disappointing like i think it's a beautiful formula i think it's a beautiful product just on me it ends up looking i don't know i'm sure she'll come out with more colors i'm i'm excited for it the other item i picked up was the or should i show you the packaging for this it's this tortoise faux tortoise vibes really nice the other item i have is the satin casual liner i picked up the shade bordeaux this is amazing i have it on the waterline today i think it's so pretty there it's just such a well thought out pencil i know it's just the pencil but let me tell you on the inside of this cap first of all the cap has like some weight to it it feels maybe there might be some kind of metal elements i can't tell but it's weighty and on the inside there is a stopper i don't know if you can see it so that when you put your pencil in you cannot push the cap in further than this no matter what genius do you know why do you know how many pencils i have maybe possibly ruined because i put the cap on and the cap was you know like over time it loosens and then you end up squishing the top of your pencil and you end up wasting a lot of your pencil I love that and then it says you know vb on top there's a smudger on the end the smudger is not you know it's like every other smudger i've used it's okay in a pinch but i'm not going to use this on a daily basis i'll just use a brush it's there for convenience the color is so stunning the formula is so stunning it's so creamy so smooth and i do veer towards colors like this often and i wanted to do swatch comparison so you could see but it's just so pigmented and matte and creamy it's just beautiful so the first one i'm going to compare it to is the urban decay 24 7 and alkaline this is my most used one as you can tell and it is also kind of a combination of purple and red the next one i'm going to compare it to is the nyx faux blacks in the shade burnt sienna and then we have the nyx faux blacks in oxblood Lastly is the L'Oreal Infallible in Burgundy. So the Victoria Beckham is right here. The next one, Urban Decay, I think is probably the closest color to it as far as like shade comparison and quality. I really like that. It's This is so creamy. So if you've used the Urban Decay and you're like, oh, I really like that, this is like a step above. The NYX Faux Blacks, while I like literally every color that they've come out with that line, I do find that they can dry out a little more and or maybe the formula in itself is drier to begin with so i will get some skipping if i were to draw just like on my lid not so much on the waterline but you can see that like they're a little inconsistent like this one is swatching like okay and then this one is smooth i haven't used this one as much so this one has been exposed to the air much more and then the last one is the l'oreal which is actually quite lighter and more metallic uh, I also find that the L'Oreal ones, I have this one and I have the shade Ivy, which is a green. They're really beautiful on the waterline because they're not opaque, so you get like a glimmer, but the lasting time is not as long as like say these two. So I would probably just recommend these two to you, probably more so the Urban Decay. The, the, the Victoria Beckham is pricey and it's up there, but it is so beautiful. You can just tell by the swatches. like. You know what I mean? I mean, if over time this dries out, I'll follow up and let you know. I just, I can't really see that happening because it is so creamy, but it also lasts and smudges out really beautifully. Also in her box, it came with a sample of her new kind of primer moisturizer. I mean, look at that. And then the samples here. <sighs> I mean, I love it. I, I love it. <laughs> so onto the rest of the makeup. We have the Dior backstage in 2n we've shared this earlier really love it the jeffree star peach corrector and today i chose to use the smashbox studio skin flawless concealer in light medium warm peach it is really difficult i mean this is the corrector but it's really difficult trying to find your shade in this concealer and it's really hard trying to find your shade in this concealer uh i distinctly just remember having difficulties matching myself and uh just so you know like i came up with my matches it was difficult la mer powder for setting not so much anywhere except maybe in the t-zone because this foundation is matte and it's not really necessary 
I have shared this bronzer with you before and it's the Chantecaille in Goa. So there's two shades in this range. There's Goa and then there's Serena. And this one is just like in slightly lighter packaging. So this one I have used to death. I, the embossing is slowly but surely disappearing. It's a very beautiful shade. I can use it all year round. I can use it for contouring, love it. And this one is a more recent purchase. I would highly recommend checking out Barney's. As of today, I looked on the website, everything is 15% off in the beauty section. And if you are like me, I live in Ohio, there's no sales tax for Barney's for me. So if you use any cash back, like you get a higher discount. So super excellent. Um, there's a shade comparison of the two. This is Goa and this is Serena. So there's Goa and Serena swatched. I have them both on today. Serena is all over the face, down the nose. And then I have Goa in as a little bit of a contour. The formula here, this Bake Chalet, is beautiful, perfect. I love it. I would repurchase if I like ran out. I mean, they're quite expensive. I think, are they 70 or 78 at retail? So I've gotten both of them on sale. I think I was able to get both of them for around the $50 mark. So, I mean, I really love them. I'm a Bake Gelee bronzer girl. I have, so Sephora is doing their promotion right now, their holiday promotion. It's like 15, 20, and 25 off $75, right? So I did pick up the Givenchy, like the darker shade of their baked bronzer. So I'm excited to get that. Uh, so camera ready cosmetics. I showed this to you in like kind of like a previews of makeup I'm gonna be sharing with you. I have been using this the past two days. The eye look I have on today is similar to what I had on yesterday. I wasn't able to film it for you guys. So today's is like a much more amped up version. Yesterday's was way less smoky. Uh, this was not applied as intensely. It was like a very like a smattering of, of sparkle. But I use this, this shade in the crease, this shade and this shade just to create smoke. Um, really beautiful palette. I don't think you need it. I think I, uh, be, for the Sephora sale, I picked up the, is it Milieu? Is that how you pronounce that word? I picked that up. It's probably very similar tones to this as far as maybe like the pops of color, but the rest of the items or colors in there are very like skin tone, warm, bronzy, tan color. So I'm really excited to get that in. This is still beautiful. I am someone that just prefers the Viseart mattes over their shimmers. There's absolutely nothing wrong with their shimmers and their metallics, but their mattes are just such a like level above everything else that my expectations for their shimmers and metallics is like incredibly high. <laughs> um, I haven't tried any of the large palettes, like the Grande, Grande Pro, I don't know. I also sound like I'm like saying Taco Bell things, but I'm not really sure, is it? Wow, not a smart moment. So let me just swatch the colors I used. Those are the three I have on. And then I have the Victoria Beckham in the waterline and the Victoria Beckham mink, musk, mink, mink on the lid. And I just really love it. It's all so pretty. For eyeliner, I have the MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Eyeliner, made in Japan, really, really nice. Uh, and I know MAC is in, uh, does a lot of promotions, so especially around Christmas time, so you can get a really nice black eyeliner for a pretty good price. It's probably like in the $20, $22 range, right? Lastly, we have the lip. We have Patrick Ta in She's Proud. And then we have an Essence lipstick, which I did not check to see if this is available on Ulta still, but I guess we'll find out. So it's the Instacare lipstick. I've shared with you this with you many times. It's in the shade Sandy Sunrise. Pretty sure it's around $3, maybe less when they do promotions. It's so nice. I love it so much. If you are someone that has tried the Sephora Melting Lip Clicks, and those are like the most phenomenal product of life, that is probably my number one lip product. If I was gonna be like, get rid of, if I couldn't keep anything in my collection and I could only keep one product, it would be the Sephora Melting Lip Click in Caramel and Creme Brulee. This is a very inexpensive alternative. So it's not that this isn't as good. Those are, like when they say melting, they mean melting. Like it will, it's very, very creamy very almost buttery this item contains 20 percent shea butter oil i don't know why i'm saying item what is wrong with me this one this formula is not gonna like completely lose its like integrity 
in the heat. The Sephora ones probably will. You gotta be careful. Don't put them like out, in, like don't leave those in your car. This you'll probably be okay. So nice. Let me apply a little more. It's so nice. It smells, you know, kind of citrusy. It's such a good product. And there's swatches of the lip colors. They're very complimentary and work really well together. I'm like all about this palette today. Okay, so that is the makeup share for today. I was really excited to share the Victoria Beckham stuff with you. So we're moving on with other things. Home things. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, I was putting away all the makeup and inside the Victoria Beckham bag, I found this little box. And at first I got really excited and I thought I got like another extra item, but it's just... It's a uh, sharpener. I guess you get a free sharpener that comes with your eyeliner, which I guess is quite nice. And it also comes in its own box and everything. It seems a little excessive maybe, but I don't know. I got excited. I was like, is this a sample of something awesome? Anyway, I mean, it is awesome. All right, moving on. Okay, so this mattress came in the mail. It's, I got it off Amazon and it was i was trying to find a twin mattress that was under or around the hundred dollar mark i wasn't trying to like spend 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 uh because I showed you guys earlier this day bed from world market that i got so let's unbox that and get that on here and get it to inflate and we'll see maybe tomorrow's vlog i can show you it all done now that the mattress is here i'm so excited because i can like get the pillows. I already have everything I want on here. Pillows and a blanket. I just need to find a cover, like a sheet. Oh, what it? Mattress cover? What's the word? Fitted. Fitted sheet <laughs> for the whole thing. Okay, 500 years later, I was able to get the plastic off of the, the first layer of plastic off. So it comes packaged really nicely and it has all these, what do you call them? Like, not moisture wicking, but like, the moisture absorbing little packets. So you got one, two, three. You got about three of them on here, which is really nice. Oh my gosh, this is like where having a camera person would be great. Now I have to figure out how to like get this on the day bed. So three packets came out of the thing. I just want you guys to know that I hoard these. When I get these in any package, any shipment, whatever, I take them out, I hoard them. There's more in this drawer. They're just so good. Like, I keep them in my cupboards so that, like, you know sometimes when you put your dishes away, there might be just, like, one drop of water left randomly. Then you get, like, a weird smell. Yeah. I keep them inside my shoes sometimes, especially in the winter, um, in my gym shoes. They're just so nice to keep around. If you go on vacation or you pack your bags, your luggage, anything, just, like, pop one in there. It's just... They're so good and they're technically free, so highly recommend that you do this as well or send yours to me. <laughs> okay, so it's on here, very happy. I was worried that this wouldn't fit properly, so I measured the whole thing myself and then I looked at the dimensions on Amazon because when I was reading reviews for the day bed, there was a lot of complaints as far as not being able to find the right twin mattress to go on here so i'm really happy that on the first try this looks like it's fitting really well it's only been like a few minutes so it's still inflating but um it's it's i'm excited because okay i am someone that likes very firm mattresses so i really think that memory foam is one of the worst things ever but i don't know i've been doing research on a lot of mattress things so for someone like me who is a back sleeper i need a firm mattress to support my back and in general i have lower back issues but if you are someone that is a side sleeper or what is the other kind of sleeper oh stomach sleeper then the more layers and like a slightly softer mattress is better i don't know i don't even i can't you tell me about soft mattresses or like really cushiony comforting like couches i'm just like are you trying to throw my back out like i know so anyway rant but i'm so excited okay so hopefully it'll inflate and then i will find a cover i probably will just start piling shit on this like there's some pillows i have i'm really excited to use and put on here it's like i've been planning this for a long time in my head like emotionally anyway okay costco haul first and foremost zycam if you have always wondered if this works it totally does. I love it. It's how I don't get sick. Um, I also think having like 
not necessarily green smoothies, but some type of smoothie that's like not, you know, like the delicious tasting ones with ice cream. If you have just spinach, berries, milk, I think if you have a smoothie like that every day, that also helps a lot with immunity. Uh, I know that last winter I was like on that cake and I did not get sick. Um, but these also really, really help. I have some pineapple chunks for smoothies. So I've been working, not like every day, but I've been doing kind of a detox. It consists of pineapple, cucumber, ginger, and like a liter of water. Um, sometimes I'll add some apple cider vinegar into it. I just think it really helps with water weight, which I mean, who doesn't want some help with some water weight, right? Okay. Then crispy green beans with sea salt. There was only one bag of these. I was, I was looked at every single snack aisle and I was like, there's only one bag. I don't get it, but I'm really excited. They're really good. I've already opened them. Love vegetables. I love like vegetable chips. It's like, but like vegetable chips that are actually vegetables. So dried vegetable chips. Okay. Yeah, you get it, right? I usually will pick up the, I think it's a cilantro lime shrimp, but I went for just like regular cocktail. I'm like not a big fan of that, but I'm, will probably just like, what's the word? Mm, not merit, cocktail sauce. So I will probably just have like the Trader Joe's Sriracha Ranch with this, which I'm probably gonna do after this. So excited. Two containers of the salmon that I show you a lot. Uh, so there's just like, three fillets and there's this dill along with a pesto basil pesto butter oh pop it in the oven for like 15 20 minutes depending on your preferences and dinner is served like i have like one of these and i am so happy and set so if your costco has this absolutely get it so good